Hello there. This is the Simon Expert, and today we will show you why you can use this formula to find the energy of a photon. First of all, let's recall that the energy of a photon is related with its wavelength in an inverse relationship. E equals hc over lambda. Where E is the energy of a photon, lambda is its wavelength, and in the numerator we have the Planck's constant and the speed of light. And the last two are well known, so we can find the expression in the numerator. hc equals 1.9878 times 10 raised to the negative 25th, and the units are joules times meter. Okay, so now if we divide this number by lambda, we will find the energy of a photon in joules. But when we're dealing with particles like photons or electrons, it is convenient to use other unit, which is electron volt. And here we need to recall that one electron volt is actually equal to 1.602 times 10 raised to the negative 19th joules. So if we want to find the energy in electron volts, we need to divide the result of the energy in joules by this expression. And now we can divide this expression by this one. So Hc over 1.602 times 10 raised to the negative 19th power gives us 1240 times 10 raised to the negative 9th power with units being electron volts times meter. And now we can get rid of 10 raised to the negative 9th power to get 1240 electron volts times nanometers. And if we put this expression into the numerator of our initial formula, we'll get nothing else but this formula. And this proves that we can use this formula to find the energy of a photon, but not in joules, but in electron volts. As an example, let's find the energy of a photon produced by the orange-colored light of a highway sodium lamp. The wavelength of such a photon is 589 nanometers. So the energy will be 1240 over 589. And the result is 2.105 electron volts. So here it is, guys. Use this formula. It is very convenient. See ya.